Dr. Schumacher. Please comment on the problem of land costs and land speculation as obstacles to decentralization and the promise of community land trusts and any other models for getting access to land. I have already been advised to advise the president not to trust his economic advisors, um, which I'm sure is good advice. <laughs> For one thing, because the economists talk about three factors of production, as if there were all much of a muchness, namely labor, which means people, to treat people as factors of production is already a bit far-fetched. Land and capital. Of these three, only capital is man-made and can be pushed around. Land certainly is not man-made. And as long as land is an object of speculation or speculative investment, none of these problems can be solved. I'm quite certain of this. The real question is, what can we do about it? So far, the world is full of proposals to leave it totally in private hands, then it remains an object of speculation, or to nationalize it or socialize it in some other way. Well, these are words which frighten some people or, or, or enchant some people, but let's look behind the word. Nationalization is that land should be administered by a bureaucracy. Now, this bureaucracy is unlikely uh, or is, is, is likely to suffer from the lack of dignity that results from not being in touch with real life. Um, th this is uh, to me quite unthinkable that uh, land should be bureaucratically controlled. So we have to find some sort of middle way. I myself in Britain have made a proposal which uh, hasn't attracted the slightest attention. <laughs> <laughs> Namely, that we should uh, establish as of a given date, the value of each individually held parcel of land. This can be done. Uh, technically, this can be done. There's no, no great difficulty about it. So that each bit of land has a value. This should be the registered value of this land. By all means, in times of inflation, you can index it so that it's inflation proof. And if the owner wants to sell it, that's all he can get for it. So it is removed from the possibility of, of speculation. If there are buyers that are prepared for one reason or other to pay very much more, the difference of what the, between what the buyer pays and the owner gets should go into a public fund. Now, I, I, I can't debate this now, but something along these lines with a clear objective, it must be taken out of speculation. Once it's out of speculation, these horrendous uh, price movements won't happen anymore. Uh, we need that. The whole of southern England is now being bought by Arabs, Germans, French, Belgians because the pound is so cheap. Well, I mean, all this is absolutely crazy. That would be my answer to this question. A community land trust, all this is, is a good beginning because the trust may be trustworthy and certainly doesn't intend to speculate with the land. The main curse on the land is speculation. 